engagement, getting people involved in the museum who don't generally get involved and diversifying as much as possible and thinking differently and asking the questions other people haven't asked as well as um, creating exhibitions, um, creating art, creating sound, um, doing my own creative pursuits for exhibitions as well. So my job is sort of all encompassing um, across a very big spectrum of the cultural heritage sector, I suppose, just getting people involved. There's, there's, there's never the same day twice. So basically, um, every day is completely different. So there is not a typical day for me, uh, and there never has been. And so I suppose the typical day is there not being a typical day. You show up and you do different things and there'll be events or activities or projects or exhibitions and you do your little bits and one day you're in Nangaru picking out objects, the next day you're at St. Fagans, you know, doing an exhibition on whatever it is, as well as just in general running um, forums and events and craft sessions. So my job is never the same twice. Um, and I have no expectations on what I'm going to be doing day to day. So it's, it's a beautiful aspect to what I do because I never get bored. It's constantly adapting and changing. So it's incredible really, and I'm very comfortable in that situation. The unexpected skill is a constant level of empathy for situations and the whole spectrum of people. And a respect and, and dignity around acceptance of whoever it is. So the unexpected skill, I suppose, is accidentally having to have therapist abilities and being able to communicate better than you've ever done in your life. My whole life, I always wanted to do something in St. Fagans. That was it. I could just be work at the desk, do anything. And I put that dream in the back of my brain and that had been a dream since the age of four. Because um, we'd visit there on school trips and stuff. And then cut to a billion years later and I'm just doing my creative arts thing and then I sort of get involved with the museum and then the first thing I get to do is do the first ever LGBT exhibition in St. Fagans. So it completely fulfilled that dream and going forward I, I continually do stuff with St. Fagans um, exhibitions and whatnot. So I suppose you have your silly little dreams and never expect them to happen and then they happen if you just keep on doing things long enough. So the exact moment I wanted to go down this career path was visiting the Cartoon Museum in London. And I remember going in there and going like, this is cool. And I talked to the lady at the front desk and she said, oh yeah, this is my job. And I remember thinking that that was ridiculous. And in many ways, I, still, I think my job now is ridiculous. It's a complete blessing. So when you find out that something that looks like a lot of fun is actually someone's job, 
I don't see why you wouldn't want to get involved with that thing. The people who I've brought in and got involved, who've worked on projects with me, who've been incredibly inspiring in their gumption and want to run towards responsibility. You know, I, I am I am deeply inspired by pretty much everyone around me. Um, and it's been a complete pleasure. So yeah, I'm in, I'm inspired by the by the young people, the people I get involved with the projects I do. To actually want to be there is to actually want to be there is a beautiful thing. I didn't do art at uni. Failed Welsh, failed history. Uh, I didn't finish uni at all. I went and did creative writing. Then my brain fried out and I had to work out my, my own path. I didn't do art at GCSE. I have no art qualifications. I have no history qualifications. Basically, there is no reason why I should be in that building. But what I did do from the age of 14, I decided to just make stuff and just put it online and see what happened. And basically, I've just done that consistently for 10 years now. So my pathway was a complete confidence in, I'm just going to keep on doing a thing until it happens. And inevitably, you don't have to be good at something. If you just do it long enough and consistently enough, something will happen. That could be that you find out, oh, actually, I shouldn't be doing that. I should be doing something else, but something will happen. So my pathway towards the museum was basically completely self-grown. So I would advise people to just focus on that tiny thing that they really love doing because that's, that's where you'll really benefit. When you apply your energy towards that, that's when things will happen. So when I was about 14, I um I play I play piano and I have done since I was about um ten years old. And I got put in connection with well, it's one of my mum's colleagues' son, um, who's an incredible jazz pianist. And I just go there and do lessons and he completely changed the way I thought about piano and in turn all creativity and we talked about gibberish and just about everything under the sun as well as what piano means to us and all our feelings about that and it was an incredible experience so as mentors go he was pretty great because he completely changed my outlook on, on what I was doing. To celebrate the small victories. Because we're, we as people are too focused on the big wins that we forget to, you know, we forget to look at the footsteps and then just pay attention to the marathon. So, you have to you have to celebrate the small victories and do them while they happen otherwise you're just constantly chasing something that never comes to be lose expectations to just move moment to moment and experience things while they happen and adapt. 
we're also caught up on who we are and how we think and it feels like at some point you just close up shop and say that you're not happy changing but my advice would be to always adapt because nobody knows how much they don't know so you've got to run towards it and learn more about who you are and let other people tell you about yourself you know i spent way too long in the idea of knowing who i was i i don't really have a clue so that would be my advice to to have no expectations and just adapt mm-hmm.